Hello and welcome to Save Watch TV. Today we have a question on the um, uh, radical equations. I want us to look at. I want you. To, I want to take my time to explain it the best as I can for you to understand. So stay with me and let's move straight into it. My name is Seb Watt, by the way. All right. So we have square root of five x plus one b minus square root of three x minus five equal to two. Now to solve this, what we do is that we leave we 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 leave only one of the square root at one side of the equal to sign, then solve it, solve for that one. Then after that, we concentrate on the other. So we can we can bring uh, uh, this uh, square root here to this side and bring the two inside and solve for that one at that side. Then from there we come back to solve for it. Now let's get straight into it. I think it will be simple if we, we we just send this one to this side and solve for 5s plus 1. So we are going to get square root of 5x plus 1 being equal to 2. Then the minus square root of 3s minus 5 will go to be plus square root of 3x minus 5. Then our concentrating concentration will be on this very our concentration will be on this very one here okay i'll square here then i'll square the whole of this so when i square this side i'm going to get 5x because the square will take the square root so 5x plus 1 here then this side of it i'm going to get 2 plus square root of 3x minus 5 in the first bracket in the second bracket to have 2 plus um, square root of 3x minus 5 now listen the reason why this side has expanded like this is because it's not only the square root that is here the square root is here with a number 2 so we can't say that that square would take care of the square root no at the right side but at the left hand side we can see that we have only the square root there and the square so the square will just take away the square root so that we have the we have this over here that is why it ended up like that so we we'll continue to say 5x minus 1 then we expand that the other side we are going to get um 2 times 2 gives us 4 2 times square root of 3x minus 5 is going to give us plus 2 raise the power uh, 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 square root of 3x minus 5 then square root of 3x minus 5 times 2 is going to give us another plus 2 square root of 3x minus 5 then square root of x 3x minus 5 times square root of 3x minus 5 is going to give us plus 3x minus 5 then we expand further we are going to get uh, 5 x minus 1 then 4 and 5 so 4 minus 5 is going to give us being equal to minus 1 okay then our 3x2 come plus 3x okay 3x then 2 2 root 3x minus 5 plus 2 root 3x minus 5 is going to give us plus 4 square root of 3x minus 5 okay now i'll move these two to the other side of the equal to sign then i'm going to get 5 x minus 1 then minus 1 will go to will move to be plus 1 then plus 3 x is going to get minus 3 x okay being equal to 4 root 3 x minus 5 is it clear now from there what we are going to do is that we are we are we are going to simplify this side minus one and plus one will be zero five x minus three uh, s is going to give us two x so we are going to get two x here being equal to um uh let me clean this one okay being equal to uh four square root of three x minus five then I'll can, I can now square this side because I can't do anything to the other side again. Then I'll square this side as well. Now here, I'm going to get 4x square being equal to, now 4 square is 16. Now square root of 3x minus 5 square is going to give you more, uh, uh, 16 multiplying 
x minus 5 brackets close so now from there from there what what we what we are going to do is that we are going to expand the 16 multiplying 3x minus 5 okay so we are going to expand that side okay so let's concentrate on expanding that side so we are going to get um, 4x square being equal to 16 times 3x is going to give us 48x then 16 times um minus 5 is going to give us minus 80 okay then from here we group everything and equate it to zero so i'm going to get 4x square minus 48x plus 80 being equal to zero being equal to zero then from there you can see that uh, i can divide each term by four to reduce the number Okay, so I'll divide 4, x squared by 4, 48x by 4, 80 by 4, and 0 by 4. What I mean is, I'll divide here by 4. Let me use another ink so that we we, we get what... I, 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 I want to simplify so that it will be easy for me. So I'll divide here by 4. Then I'll divide here 2 by 4. And I'll divide here 2 by 4. Okay, and probably the 0, 2 by 4. So if I divide here by 4, this and this will cancel. Then I'm going to left here x square then 48 and 4 also got, can also break down okay 48 and 4 can also come uh, uh, can 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 also be broken down okay uh, we are going to get minus 12 x okay then this one to uh, the 82 is going to get plus uh 20 okay being equal to zero so this is what we are getting now this is what we are getting now and this is the 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 the, the quadratic so what you do is that you solve the quadratic and get a value for x then you also get another value probably you get one or you get two two numbers either x being this or x being that so the answer that we will get if we put it back in the equation we have to get the two meaning that, that those are your answers okay and and you are going to get x being three and x being what seven probably this we are going to get so you try it and let's see if you got the same answer so thank you very much for watching my name is Sebwatch. i'm out for now see you soon bye bye